if you're like me and after some time you have a lot of demo projects on your simulator it's getting a little bit annoying that all of my icons are the default white ones so i'm going to show you now how you can add a app icon for ios this has become a lot easier for xcode 14. now we only need to add one file i have to add this in the assets file where you see this app icon and there's currently only one empty box for me to fill out this is because in the inspector under ios i have here a single size selected if it's all sizes you see i would need to add all of these different sizes from as small as 40 by 40 pixel to the largest which is 1024 by 1024 this is for example the image that is shown in the app store so it's much larger displayed and it needs to look good the one you see actually in the home screen is here this 180 times 181 or this 120 times 121 depending on the device resolution screen resolution okay i'm going back to select only single size and we start by using a single size now i prepared some examples we have different mm, features to show some of the implication this has or why they actually had so many resolutions before so this is an image with exactly this resolution 1024 times 1024 if it's the wrong one xcode will not accept it and it's not going to work so i can drag and drop this in and it's taking it nicely so now i can uh, build in one my image obviously looks very nice and crispy because um, I have here this large image. But what happens if it's now much smaller? Actually, don't really need to run more than this. Okay, and now if I go back to the home screen, you see this nice icon. And actually, because now I see it maybe larger with my uh, Mac screen, I go to window, physical size. So this is now scaling it to the, so it has on the screen the same size it would have normally. Um, this is an iPhone X, so it's a mid-size iPhone, it's a norm, it's typical size I would say. And now compared to the large image, some of the features get lost. So I on purposely put here different patterns with ever smaller size. So this large square is easy to see. On the top right also okay these large ones you can still see this ones you kind of can see but definitely this the small ones get lost it looks rather blurry and this gets even more so if we go smaller for example it's in the settings although i think it's not going to work so here you for example would also have added this icon and it's not properly doing it because i'm running in the simulator but this is even smaller and then I would definitely not see the small patterns anymore and probably also not the one on the bottom right. What you typically would do in this case, if you want, want to insist on this, is for all sizes, you would have different images and these images with the smaller resolution, they just wouldn't have this kind of small detail. So you would leave out this part maybe. If your images are much more simple, I can also show you this if I um, shrink down this image. So this is the original, it's very large, and this is 120 by 120. So this is um, small and you already see here, this, it's getting rather blurry. The large squares, it's nice, but the small features I probably should remove. One way of improving this is if I change my icon to have less features. Like here, I remove the smaller patterns. This can be even worse if you have like small lines. Can okay, I use this? Actually, I probably should go back to single size and then drop this image in. And now I can run this. So we see it on the simulator. If it's not for the first time appearing, you can also delete the app and then. Mm -hmm. So if I go outside, you see now this image. Looks actually quite all right for at least the screen 
some of the best icons are actually the ones with less features. For example, the shadow that I added makes it a little bit more difficult or you need to have stronger line widths, wider lines. The good thing is all this consideration of resolution, you probably only need to consider when you want to publish this app in the App Store. For my simulator, for my test projects, this is much nicer. I can create multiple of them and fill my screen up nicely from now on. You can pick whatever editor or image creation you want to. As long as the size of this image is 1024 by 1024, you will be fine. <laughs>